It was like this. I was browsing YouTube videos I'm lessly to relax over a cup of tea. Maybe a football game highlights or a compilation of funny videos. Suddenly I got a notification on my phone. A new video from the Electronoops channel. Unfortunately, this evening time will not slip through my fingers. He made an interesting project of the at tiny game, but I didn't like the way of installing the new game, because if you want to change the game, you have to pull out the microcontroller of the connector and plug in a new one, which might negatively affect on the at tiny legs. I felt obligated to improve the way of changing the game. I started by looking for a connectors that would be suitable for this project. I found one that has a spring inside, so I can insert the game board and then press it down. Using the diagram of the previously mentioned internet creator, I created my own diagram, adding connectors and a battery that I can charge via a micro USB connector. Then I designed PCBs for the console and the game cards and ordered them from PCB Go Go. It's time for soldering. I started by applying solder paste to all parts from the SMD components and then I put these elements in their places. I set the hot air station to 300 degrees, the airflow to the smallest and started the soldering process. Resistors, capacitors, switches, sockets, display. Lastly, I soldered the golden connectors. After inserting display into the gold pin socket, it turned out that it protrudes too much, so I desoldered the socket and soldered the display itself. Finally, I cleaned the PCB with isopropyl alcohol and the toothbrush. I took pictures of both boards and uploaded them to Fusion. I entered the dimensions of the board, marked the places that the housing shouldn't cover, set the thickness of this element to 2mm and printed it to make sure the holes were in the right places. Then I created the bottom of the case and connected them together. The entire housing consists of 6 elements. When I finished designing it, I uploaded it into Creality Slicer and saved it on the SD card into files. I will use plain red PLA to print the elements from the first file and wooden PLA for those from the second file. This filament consists of 30% ground wood, which, when printed, creates a unique fragrance. These filaments were provided to me by 3D Jake. The only thing left was to put all the elements together. The Atiny 85 microcontroller, which I desoldered from the DigiSpark module, will be responsible for the working of the electronic port. 
before I do this, however, I have to program it. I installed the drivers for this module, then I added a library supporting this module to the Arduino IDE. I downloaded the game files and uploaded them to a few boards so I can change the game at any time. I desoldered AdTiny from the module and soldered it to my PCB. This is how ArduPlay looks like. A mini game console based on AdTiny85. Put the game board in the right place and close the casing, thus pressing the board to the connectors. Now you can enjoy retro style gameplay on your hand-built mini console.